I'm Ben Lance, Executive Advisor to APC Media. That would include Power Systems Technology Magazine, Transformer Technology Magazine, and Women in Power Systems Magazine. We're here today in Paris, France at the Seagray 2024 conference talking with industry thought leaders, interviewing them to gain their insights into the trends, challenges, and solutions, and bringing those insights to you. Our next guest is Holger Ketterberg, CEO of SGB Schmidt Group, and welcome. welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me here. Oh, it's a pleasure. We're, we're here talking with thought leaders, uh, industry leaders, uh, really, and we'd like to know uh, about some of the challenges in the industry. But before we get there, how did you get your start in the industry? Yeah, that was been many, many years ago. So I'm an electric engineer. Oh, you are? Um, and I started after the university uh, um, in uh, the R&D center, in the corporate research center of a competitor. And I've been uh, 25 years with that competitor. So I then, after a few years, moved uh, to Transformers because I thought I should uh, lose the this uh, brand of the ivory tower guy. And uh, I moved uh, really to the industry. And uh, I've been then for uh, 20 plus years in different technical functions, general manager functions in different countries uh, um, on the globe uh, with uh, ABB and I've been always in Transformers. So okay. I've been in Switzerland, I've been to Canada, I've been to Germany. Excellent, excellent. Well, And then I've been uh, taking the opportunity going to a pure play Transformer manufacturer, the SKB Smith Crew, one of the top 10 manufacturers in the, in the world. And uh, it's fantastic that we have now something that we can really focus on Transformers only. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, fascinating to see how the market developed how our industry developed and uh, how how big the need is for transformers, which enables uh, the energy transition. Right, it's the heart of the grid, right? It is. Yeah. It is. So, uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about your company and and really um, your your particular role and uh, with SGB. Yeah. So the SGB Smith Group is uh, is a pure play transform manufacturer with the um, with heart in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, we do have uh, globally some, some 12 companies, uh, uh, we have more than 3,000 employees um, and we do design, manufacture transformers from the small distribution transformers, liquid immersed and dry type uh, to the uh, uh, medium power transformer and large power transformers uh, that, that is available in the right. in the market. Okay. And there's such a demand for that now. Maybe, you, could you speak to some of the challenges that you see from your perspective in the industry? Yeah, I, I do believe that there is uh, clearly in the meantime the um, the awareness that transformer is not an old technology, a boring device. It is really the heart, as you have been mentioning, of the energy transition. Mm. And I think it now everybody realizes how important it is with all these new mega trends. Uh, it doesn't matter if we talk about in general the uh, going for more green energy, so from fossil to green, mm -hmm. which means from centralized uh, generation to decentralized uh, generation. Every of these change need additional, uh, additional connection points and every connection point in the energy grid means you need a transformer. Right. Um, and we then add uh, things like EV cars, so EV charging. Right. Uh, we have nowadays the, the topic uh, with, uh, with wind generation, with uh, the solar generation. We, we have the situation that, that, that we have uh, data center which have not been at the beginning really, I would say in our focus, because data center have been that small, right. that transformers was not really important. Mm -hmm. and in the meantime, when you see data centers uh, and going into a, a director of having a gigawatt of, of, uh, uh, of capacity, right. it consumes a hell of a lot of energy. And that means you have not only to, to talk about the, the uh, transformers inside the building you have to connect that one to the grid again and uh, it's a fascinating right and, and this is not our grandfather's grid it's bi-directional it's distributed energy it's large data centers it, it, it is large so, and this i think is new. this is also the challenge what we hear here at uh, secret it's not anymore that you have a generation transmission distribution mm. and consumer no we have now a, a, a very very complex grid right you start generating on uh, on medium voltage uh, even on, on low voltage if if the uh, the wall boxes might be bi-directional in in the future 
you might have uh, all the, the, the EV cars being used as an, as an energy um, storage and, right. and, and, and right. maybe I'm using it as a generation next day to, to feed into the grid. And there's a lot of challenge, I would say, in the, in the grid, yeah. Right, and the transformers at the heart of that. So uh, tell me, what are you focused on from a solution standpoint? These are huge challenges. And how is SGB Schmidt driving solutions to uh, solve some of the challenges we're facing? So I think, first of all, with, with that pure player, right. we, we do have uh, a specific topic. So we mm -hmm. can really talk to all our customers. Mm -hmm. We have not to sell you the entire solution. We support them in solving the problem of the connection. Mm -hmm. So we are listening, we are very close to our customer, we are very, very customer oriented. And I think we've been from the beginning very close to our loyal customers, explaining that uh, the market the market demand might increase. So please inform us with, uh, with your plans, with, uh, mm -hmm. with all the projects that, that's maybe even on the horizon somewhere. So we have now an, an, a very good uh, um, visibility of market demand in the coming years. And uh, th that means uh, it's really, it's, it's talking, it's listening to our customers and then providing solutions uh, to, to, to them in line with the expectation. Right, so those deep relationships, yeah. that trusting relationship you have with your customer. And as I understand, some of the lead times in the industry are really long, but yeah. it sounds like if you have that relationship, you're able to make those plans and, and meet the needs. Yeah. So this is definitely one of the challenges that, that a, a normal lead time definitely doubled, maybe even a, a, it's three times higher mm. than it has been in the past. So right. um, it's not anymore this traditional commodity approach. Mm. If, if uh, suddenly a, um, a supply chain manager is, is shopping around, I would need a transformer. Um, here, I would like to place the order. Please uh, give it to me in in uh, in six months for distribution or some some twelve months for for more power transformers. Mm. No, no. Now we are talking about years, so it is much more communicating. It's much more involving us as part of a project team. Right. Uh, but I think that is also our strength. So being Excellent. close to the customer, mm. meaning being close uh, um, to to the solution provider. Absolutely. Right. Okay. So you're here at Sea Gray, 2024. And you, you have your, your booth and you, there's lots of technical sessions. What is it that you see of value here uh, when you're coming to Seagray? I do believe that Seagray is, uh, is, uh, is really unique. Mm. Because it, it is not only a fair that connects the um, transform manufacturer with a supplier or with a customer. Mm. It is to combine both. So mm. you see here a lot of TSOs, DSOs, but you also see a lot of supply uh, uh, good, good, good suppliers to us. So you have a lot of discussions and it is not that you have only the marketing sales team here or the supply chain guys. Right. You have all the technical expertise. Right. So it is great to see all the poster sessions. It's great to see uh, the committees that the, these guys are really also interacting with, uh, the, uh, with the customers, with the suppliers. And I think it's, uh, again, it's, it's really unique and it's great to see all the development. So the collaboration and the community is very strong. That is exactly, it's, mm. uh, it's, extract, it, 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 it's, it's great to see. And it's yeah. also great to see how CGRE developed from a much more uh, tease or a transmission fair now to really, and an, I would say it's really transmission and distribution and generation. So it's, it's great to, right. to have everybody here. And uh, uh, the three level, I think, brings together all our industry experts and uh, a lot of known faces. Yeah, a lot of energy here. A lot, a lot of, of energy, absolutely. Uh, exciting time to be in the industry. Absolutely. Do you have any concluding remarks to, uh, to our readers and listeners? I, I could only motivate each and everybody to, to really um, do uh, a motivation speech for the young generation. We need yeah. engineers. We, 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 I think we, we see the biggest challenges in the, in the coming or in the near future, but we have skilled labor. And uh, I think we have now enough people that are starting to listen, mm -hmm. but we have to start maybe even during a school time where we talk about, hey, it, it's sexy to be in the energy business. Uh, <laughs> it, it is right. really, it, it is something that's attractive. Mm -hmm. um, come here, come to the industry because we all need skilled people we need engineers, we need also blue color. We, we need everybody who likes to work in that industry, who is passionate with energy. And we're solving some of the biggest challenges, right? We have you know, weather challenges, we've got the uh, 
the age limiting out. We've got the expertise. Absolutely. We've got uh, our our phones, our data, AI. All that takes power, right? And our lives revolve around power. Again, I think the the uh, the entire boom, this mega trend, all started with sustainability. Mm, sustainability. So when, when really when when the world committed or have been committing itself for more sustainable CO two neutral future, mm -hmm. that was the start. Converting from fossil energy to electric energy. Right. This is when, when, when the boom for transformers started. Plus then all the coming additional topics like data centers, which was, I think, not on the, on the radar for, for many years. Uh, yeah, it's fascinating. Fasc fascinating, Holger. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you very much, Ben. Yeah.